You know, maybe I should make Maple do a Goron dance so I could stop mugging her. It isn't gonna work, but it'll be funny to look at. Welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Previously, we had to do another Goron dance to get a key for this place. A pair of keys for this place. The Mermaid Key and the old Mermaid Key to open the past and the present versions of this dungeon. And we are currently in the, uh, present version of the dungeon. I just came over here and I got the map for the area. It's the Mermaid Dungeon. The Mermaid's Cave. Also, there was other mini-games and, uh, there's a spider friend. But no spiders here anymore. So, I got that map. Where do I have to head next? Actually, I have to head back up in that direction. Remember that spinner room? That's the spinner family room? Where Spinner and his son Spinner is hanging out? We gotta go back there. And there's a, a good bit of this dungeon left, so it might be a short video, but I do have some filler. Those secrets that we just picked up, we could go do them, and I could always turn them in later. Yep, this dungeon is filled with wizard. So, we gotta head to Spinner Room. We have to utilize the spinners. We gotta ride them both. Twice! We're gonna have to take the long way around. I don't understand why they have to do this. Oh, right! Gibdos don't get bounced back when you do it to them. Let's see, where do I go from here? Ah, right. I take this spinner. And then... I drop down? I have to get to the lower entrance of this area. Which means the spinners have to sync up. That's not how you make a, si a spinner sync up. I did it wrong! I'm gonna have to find a way to reset the puzzle now. I shouldn't have taken that long trip around the first go. I should have just jumped down. What had I do down here? Let's do things a little bit out of order, then, since I'm going to be stuck here. There's got to be another way out of here. I'm killing that guy from a distance. Alright, he wanted to get up close and personal. And there's no way out of here, so I'm going to have to do some unnecessary backtracking that I caused myself. So I can't really complain about it, now can I? I botched a puzzle. Alright, that means we have to take two more trips. Or, at least one more trip. At least I murdered all the enemies. We're not done yet. I still have to get this spinner in the right position. Yeah, right there. Hey, maybe I could drop down from this direction. This'll work, right? No, it won't work. Oh my goodness. It's a botch job. It is a botch job. I botched it. I botched the whole thing. I need to take more trips! I need to spin more! Let's see... What do now? What do anytime? This ain't gonna work, is it? Oh, there we go! That's how I was supposed to... Well, that's not how I was supposed to get here, because that's unnecessary. But... That's how I was supposed to get it oriented, so I could get over here. Now we're back on the beaten track. I claimed about a few minutes of your dime there. Just for a small key, too! Excellent! So now we have to find a key door to use this on. And let me guess, we have to take more trips on those spinners, don't we? Oh yeah, I gotta take the spinner. Actually, I was reading a little bit too far ahead. This is the time you drop down. Because the key door is on that other plateau. I solved the puzzle twice, trying to solve the puzzle in a different way. Oh well, we got the key door. It's coming up soon. Man, I hate enemies that don't flinch when I hit them with a metal sword. Darn mummies, no one likes you. And no one likes this guy either. It's him again! It's Veer! Or Vire, depending on how you pronounce it. I always say that, don't I? 
But yeah, we defeated him and the turtle. Wait a second. Turtle? Wait a second, that's Link's Awakening when we fought him in the turtle. But he's pretty much the same as before. He has some different projectiles. Like these blue ones. He also has red ones, and yellow ones explode. But when he gets serious, it means he's gonna stay farther away from you. Pepper you with shots like that. I'm trying to jump attack him. Because he's kind of in a higher level than me. I don't mean on a skill level, I just mean altitude level. He does that a lot. Ah, I almost got him. I almost got him with the sword. That should have been it right there, actually. Yeah, there's the homing bullet. Get back here and fight me like a bat demon. In fact, this is how you fight me as a bat demon. This seems to be working in his favor. Yeah. Charge me, I dare you! Yeah! You shouldn't take dares from strangers! You ain't full of me. Yeah, you lost twice because they're both losers, and so are you. Now Fire is truly dead. He became a fairy for my amusement. That's what he gets for kidnapping Zelda. And being a boss in a game that came after these. Chronologically, anyway. Link's Awakening came first. That was Link's Awakening. 97? 96? I'm pretty sure. This one was 2001. This is just after Ocarina of Time. I'm trying to time this bomb so I could get it onto that block. Because I need to be able to switch the block. To claim the dungeon item. The mermaid suit! Uh, okay, I could buy flippers, but how's Link wearing this? And then walking around. Maybe it's one of those tear-off pants, you know? I like, to I like to fool myself into thinking of some kind of charm that he just wears, and it does mermaid stuff. It's quite obvious what this suit is designed to do. Allow the Link to swim a lot better, in deeper water. So now we have to head back to the entrance and go into this room. Maybe this time I'll know what I'm doing. Because we gotta light the candle heads. Fire and violence! Oh, there's definitely violence going on there. I'm gonna stay in here. It's safe in here. No one could get me in here. He sure did try, though. So we had to defeat them to open this door. And now we got those hefty blade guys again. The thick blade guys. So we could use this locked door. I remember this room! I went in the wrong part of this room before. This is how we get to that treasure chest, right over here. Being guarded by bats. And get the compass! The present compass! Because somehow treasure moves in 400 years. You do there. Time to go underground. Yeah, you would think underwater because mermaid, but no, underground. I'm getting a lot of use to that mermaid suit right now. Doing this platforming. I wonder how quickly Link can change. Like his clothing. Alright, I saw that key block up there, but you're not fooling me. There's there's prizes down here. There has to be prizes down here. It's a fork in the road. Don't laser me. I'm gonna wait for them to come back. I swung into too soon. Ten rupees! I wanted fifty at least. I should deserve it for that. Yeah, there's only 10 rupees down there. They knew you were going to call that bluff. You just get spin attacked, because you, you're a pain in my butt. This puzzle looks familiar. Cedric, this is not the same puzzle, right? I'm going to shoot the mystery seat at you. Test your luck! 
It is that puzzle I was thinking of. Link to the past called it once his two switches puzzle back. You stole it. Right from the beginning of the game, too. Oh, you're tricky. Oh, you change the odds every turn. There we go. And we get the boss key. Excellent. Now we can leave this area. We have to leave this area. Not can. We must leave this area. Ah, if there was only a way to teleport to the dungeon entrance. Yelsies can't do it, right? I'm pretty sure they don't. And of course the time spell won't. Yeah. Yelsies can't help us in here. They're only for teleporting enemies out of the dungeon. Either that or they just don't work in 2D. But yeah, we gotta backtrack. It might be annoying. That's because it is. But the dungeon gimmick is good enough to uh, make up for the Kane of Samaria's dungeon. That was Crown Dungeon, right? Kane of Samaria? Yeah, it had to have been. And the other painful dungeon, I think, was... You know what? I'm trying to mash the A button. That doesn't work anymore. The mermaid suit, you mash the, the directional button. You still dive with B, but then when you're underwater, you can use an item on your A button. They kind of mess with you. It's an interface screw. Alright, Snakes, I had enough of your time. I need to travel through time! Let's see, I was using archaeology before. Ah, uh, we could go into this thing, at least. Oh, that's... that's funky looking! Link, you look a little weird wearing that. Good thing it makes you swim so well. Yeah, there's a ring under here. And no, this is not a 2D section like other swimming portions. This is an above section, like above head. Overhead section of regular Zelda. It's a brand new camera angle to an old gimmick. It's a maple. Ah, this one's a, this one's a tight fit. I don't have the room to battle her in here. I'm gonna try it anyway because we're always mugging maple. Oh good, I dropped most of the items near me. Yep, and I'm gonna be grabbing all these items right here next to me. Oh wait, the, the portal thing's in my way. Ah, there we go. And you can't stop me even with a time portal. Take that. And I forgot, I don't need to use a music. Because I had th that past portal thing there. That's right. Ah, don't mind me, I've been spending most of my day playing RimWorld. I, I found a mod for it, and that game is more fun than it has a right to be. So welcome back to the past Mermaid Cave. I still can't get over the fact that we opened the past Mermaid Cave with a key, but for some reason, we go to the present Mermaid Cave, and it's locked again! How does that happen? Who is closing the dungeons after Link leaves? Because he's not polite enough to do it himself. I want that heart. Can't keep me from that heart. Run into that embassy, please. Thank you. Now, blow each other up. Oh, I didn't need to go... Ah. I'm almost 35. My memory's failing me. That's not a good sign. I went the wrong way again. I have to go to, uh, the place that was flooded. Where was that again? Uh, it's back in this direction, wasn't it? I remember the wizard robes. Oh, fire damage doesn't kill you in one shot, does it? Oh well, at least he's out of the way. Pretty sure I had to head here. We had to solve a puzzle, but then backtrack because we didn't have an ability to move forward. Now we have that ability. It's just slightly painful getting there. Yeah, this room again. If you mash on the D button, you could go really, really fast. Into another 2D section. You know what? 
Link is underwater, and he can murder things. That makes you a dolphin. It's Dolphin Link! They're always murdering things in the ocean. That laughing thing is all a ruse. Also, that's a pit. And it'll suck you in, too. It's a whirlpool pit. A waterfall pit. You can't fall into the even deeper water. Link doesn't have enough mermaid suits for that. Now, this is a 2D section. Obviously, because it doesn't have the looking up and down sprites. And just japes you out down there. You would think there's a pit, but then you realize you're underwater now. Th there's no pits except for those. I'm just gonna go past the shocky dudes and fight the current up into here. Hmm, a puzzle underwater! We're gonna be seeing plenty of puzzles underwater, I'm guessing. Underwater dice. Underwater block puzzles. I think this one's an underwater block puzzle. No, it's an underwater murder puzzle. What are the other puzzles we have? Spinners? There's gonna be an underwater spinner, I guarantee it. Who knows what else they're gonna think of? I think they're running out of item ideas. We are in the sixth dungeon, after all. That nets us a small key. So where can we go from here? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to fight the current. And, uh, look at my notes at the same time. That's what I'm trying to do. Why are these stairs? You're just mocking Link now. You do see him without his suit for, like, a split second. He, he needs time to get it on. He's not that quick. See, he did it again. He needs to use the stairs of his legs, people. Where do we take the... Where do we take this now? It doesn't go in this direction. And it can't be over here. I'm a little lost. There's another underwater section. So, um, I have a gap in my notes. Hold on here. Let me get my bearings. Oh! Wow, that, that's a nasty backtrack. I'm lost because we have to go back to the room that had the jar and the cane of Samaria puzzle. There's nothing to do in those rooms anymore. I was about to say, are you really gonna make me fight those candle heads again? I like this dungeon a little bit more than the other dungeon, but this dungeon is still... still has things it can do to you. To make you feel bad. Alright, that's not the room, that's the color room, and I don't want to get locked in there again. I say again because it has happened before. I walked into that room, and it locked on me before I realized what was going on. Alright, it's this room. So, Mario, that. Getting lost like this and getting stuck on that spinner puzzle pretty much guarantees that I'm going to be done this dungeon just about on time. The base back on this. And now we can head to a new section. I just remembered, we have another spinner. Spinner Senior! Got a bomb, too. Kindly get blown up by that, thank you. Or you can just die. That works, too. Luckily, I already blew the wall open. Now it's time to take the spinner! Multiple times, because they don't like you! I need to get over to that deep water section. I have the boss key, but I need more small keys, because that's how this game works. Back into the water. There's water at the bottom of the ocean! And this dungeon. I forget where I even heard that one from. I just thought it was silly. Another thing! Swimming has ice physics! This is just liquid ice. Also, we got spike traps. I'm just gonna 
Swim for it! Amalana puzzles. Nah, I, I shouldn't blame Amalana for a puzzle that lame. Anything in here besides ropes? No. There's no point to this room. Besides to hit you with fireballs. There was a point to this room, now. Remember what I said about underwater puzzles? This is an underwater switch puzzle. Oh, right, yeah. A button. Duh. I need to switch that to my A button. Because B is still dive, even though I can't use it here. I need you to come over here. I need you to come over here. And I put them in position. And there's three more in the bottom I gotta do, too. This is just busy work. Alright, uh... You go up there a little bit. This should be maximum distance, right? It was slightly off the screen, but it works. And you too. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm getting there. It's hard to do this when you can't use your legs. Ridiculous. We're almost in position. Probably just a small key. I bet it's a small key. It's a small key. Because they just have to throw keys at you. Which would actually hurt in the long run, getting hit with a small key. Now that's a trap they should think of for a Zelda game. A trap that just shoots a small key at you. You gotta, like, block it with your shield before you pick it up. Or it'll go right through Link's head. Instant game over! We need one small key for this. And we need one small key for this. Hit the hook, bats. I'm not used to using my sword on my B button. Alright. On. Off. Then. Switch to your cane! Because I gotta get it through those paddles. It. Being. A seed. At a right angle. At a right angle! That's not a correct angle. There we go. You were supposed to notice, hey, um, I need another small key, where do I get it? Oh right, I can swim now. That's what that's all about. You know what, I'm using my, my shield, first time in a long time. Against the boss. No introduction! It's Octagon! The master, um, Octorok. He shoots rocks at you, which is why I brought my shield along. But his gimmick is that he has fireballs, and you have to go underwater to fight him some more. Luckily, I do extra damage. Bring it out of here. See, I kind of like that kind of boss, where you get to hit him with your sword, but he also has a puzzly gimmick with the whole underwater thing. That, that was a decently fun fight compared to Smog or Headthlump. He's kind of like on the patrol level. But we can finally get another essence! Not related to time, of course, because why would we ever want to do that? You get it? Mountains and time! I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. They're just making things up. They're stuck on this heart gag. And I just realized that the milkweeds means it's the baby Maku. I thought it was just an entirely different jury talking to me. Oh hey, Queen Ambie left the palace. You could go rough up Varen. Toss a mystery seed at her. It's like garlic to her. That's what's implied anyway. Well, now we have new swimming abilities. I could actually go to the um, Crescent Island in the past with this, because I could swim in the ocean! Plus, there's new stuff in the ocean! Oh, check this out! How about three overworlds in your Zelda, huh? Brand new music, too. I like that. But we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. There's gonna be heart containers down there and everything. That will be next time on 
Oracle of Ages, because I got lost in a mermaid cave! I am embarrassed. Good night, folks. <laughs>